we're here to introduce the new uh, triad transfer station and powered chain conveyor uh, that we use with our wall panel equipment, both wood and steel. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the control system before we get into the demonstration. Uh, on the transfer station, this is the, um, oh, I've got a phone call. <laughs> and it's my wife, so I better take it. <laughs> Hi, hon. The, um, the transfer table has basically two push buttons to operate the whole thing. You have a start button and you have an undo button. The undo just does the previous command. The indicator lights here should tell you uh, which end the transfer station is parked and which end we're going to go to and also provides some other information like if, if we're in, in the middle of something and um, we're in the process of acting on it. The other thing we have is a stack light which is uh, on all the powered conveyors and they have a common uh, code where green means that the conveyors are empty and ready to receive material. Uh, yellow, uh, a, a flashing yellow indicates that we are uh, in loading or unloading that the chain conveyor is running. Solid yellow means that the conveyor is full and cannot receive any more material. And red is when we are powered down. A flashing red also indicates a fault, like we have a motor fault or something of that nature. So let me show you how this control panel works. This only controls the transfer portion of the transfer conveyor. The chain conveyors are basically autonomous. They, they, um, when you load material onto it, we have a couple sensors that pick it up and they'll load the material until they hit the end of the conveyor, at which point they await the command of the, pre of the, of the subsequent conveyors. And uh, they just kind of manage themselves. Uh, but the transfer portion of it, if I want to move the transfer conveyor from the left to the right, um, I've got to instigate that. So uh, the first step, if I were to hit the start button one time, the solid yellow light starts to blink, which, indi indi which indicates that we uh, have buffered a command. If I undo that, we just return to where we were. So if I, if I hit this to uh, say that I'm basically going to transfer the next con uh, panel, then when I load a panel, it basically breaks the, uh, the conversation between itself and the subsequent conveyor. So it'll load to the end and stop. Then if I hit the button the second time, it tells me which direction I'm going to go. The light comes on and we have this uh, reciprocating stack light thing happening. And then the conveyor is at rest at the next location. You got a solid yellow light, meaning that it's ready to receive a signal from the conveyor that's lined up with. If I were to hit this button three times, then the conveyor will go down the other direction, unload its uh, panel, and then return automatically to where it started from. So right now the panel was in an empty state, so it just automatically comes back. And if we want to originate from the other side, if that's going to be our home place, then we just double click and send it back and it'll stay down there. And then we can triple click from there and then it'll be the place it returns to. Now, if you look at the line of conveyors that we're lined up with now, we've got a green light on the transfer conveyor, meaning that we're clear to receive panels. The light over here indicates that this conveyor is free to, to uh, receive panels. And that light over there is clear 
to receive panels as well. Each of these conveyors is daisy chained with a communication cable. The first, uh, or the, I should say the, the end conveyor could be connected to another table. It could be uh, sitting right in front of some roller conveyor um, or any number of things, but it has to receive a signal to, um, to unload the panel. And so if it's going to go on the roller conveyor that has no logic in there, we have a shunt plug that can plug into the uh, front end port of that conveyor, giving it a constant signal to unload. Right now, we have it set up to where there is no unload signal at the very end. So we can load a panel here, and it will transfer from here to the next one receive the signal from the third one to go clear down to the end and then it'll stop because that has no signal to unload and it'll park and it'll be full. The next panel that comes on would go to the second conveyor because it's open until it's, you know, until it gets to the end and it's full. And then finally the third panel could load to the end of this conveyor and then that's all the farther it'll go because all the other conveyors are full. It probably would make more sense to demonstrate that than to me talk about it. So let's just go and do that. We're just going to load some plywood so you can get the, uh, get the idea here. Now I will say that there's two sensors on the infeed end of each conveyor. Uh, the reason we have two is if uh, an operator walks between machines and accidentally waves his hand over the sensor, we don't want the conveyor to start. So these sensors have to be tripped within a second of each other in order to be a valid signal to start. So this panel is going to unload from here, trips the sensors here, and it starts to move. And the yellow light indicates that we're moving. Then we trip the final one. And it will go until it trips its signal. Now, this conveyor is full and will receive no more panels. This conveyor is clear to send. And of course the transfer table is as well. So once again, this panel will trip this one. And it'll go until it trips this sensor, and now it stops. So this is full, this is full, this one's empty. Um, now this would be the time where the operator would say, okay, I want to I wanna take this next panel and transfer it to the end. I don't want this conveyor to be talking to any other conveyors. So you'd punch the start button one time, and that button could be pressed any time prior to the panel reaching the end, okay? Now, all three conveyors are indicated as full and this conveyor on this side is clear to send. So if this will line up with this and the communication is resumed it'll unload. So we'll put this, uh, we'll send this panel over and we will do the, uh, it's been punched once, 
the flashing light indicates that. We'll punch it two more times, which would give us the triple punch for an auto return. And when it gets over there, it'll unload the panel before it returns. So once again, we're going to line up with this conveyor. Takes off, trips that sensor. So it will travel down to this end until it trips this one. Stops. Meanwhile, our transfer conveyor is coming back for another, another panel. So, two buttons, three panels, two lines, the triad transfer conveyor. Na, 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 na.